say, I'm not sure anyone really knows the full capability of Cas3 yet. We certainly understand exactly what it can do for bacterial removal. As we think about what it can do in human genomes and not just bacterial genomes, a whole new world of science opens up of what the possibilities are. Cas3 creates long deletions. Long deletions we can characterize. Long deletions we can understand. Long deletions that we can use to do things Cas9 can't, like delete entire viral genomes from human cells. Classic example is human papillomavirus. Being able to use CRISPR-Cas3 for long-range deletions in antivirals really seems like the first step to move into, but to be able to use it in full-blown human gene editing seems more than possible. It's something we're actually working on and seeing success. And so I think you can expect Locus over time to not only be working on antibacterials, but also antivirals, and we will begin to work in human gene editing as time progresses. Simply put, we have our own gene editing platform. It's quite powerful, it offers unique advantages, and we own it. And those things, I think, are really unique 